Phoebe Simcock, X Rhythms interview with Kate Middleton. Music and life to the full. X Rhythms. Could you tell us a bit about yourself and why mental health is so important to you? Yeah, sure. So I think why I'm so passionate about mental health is that when we hear people talking about mental health, it so often gets narrowed down to just thinking about illness. And and I do love to work with people to help them find ways through in those moments when life has got really tough and they're struggling and they've maybe become unwell. But for me, mental health is about much more than that. It's about what it really means, that wider picture about living life well and really getting the best out of life. And also releasing your full potential and everything that you could be and you could do with your life. That sounds so much more positive. I think mental health has such these negative connotations and the way you said it then sounds so much more uplifting. Most people are more likely to be limited, not not by like academic achievement or what qualifications they've got, but by things like how do they manage stress? Do they Can they sleep well? How do they deal with anxiety and pressure? Can they put good boundaries between like work and life and keep that balance going? And, and of course, right now, coming out of a crazy season when everything's gone into chaos, like, can you cope with the unexpected? And yeah, so for me, that's what mental health is just as much as it is about the sort of illness side of things. How do you think the pandemic has affected mental health? So many of the things that we previously just took for granted have been shaken and have changed. And what that does is, is it's a bit like playing Jenga. Some of those blocks are the really solid foundations of your life. They're, they're things that you just assume about yourself, your health, your security, the way the world works. And the pandemic shook a load of those things up for the first time in most of our lives. I mean, we would never have seen that coming. And what that means is that we were all put under pressure and it pushed everybody into a space where suddenly you just couldn't take mental health for granted. But, but of course the truth is we all have mental health and things will get thrown at us in life that do push us into a space where our mental health is under more pressure. The pandemic was unusual because it happened to everyone all at once pretty much. And now of course what we're doing is coming out of it and trying to figure out all of that stuff, like what on yeah. earth just happened. And, and what does this mean for me going forwards? And, and that actually right now is quite an emotionally complex time, therefore. There's a lot of people who are, are finding that harder than they thought that they would. What do you think is the most important tip you would give someone aged between 12 and 20 who is struggling with their mental health? I think the most important thing I would say is one about trying to avoid taking what you're already feeling, which is tough, and adding one of two things to it, and that's either fear or guilt, because we all do it, it's so easy to do. And, and fear is like, what's wrong with me? Why am I feeling like this? Am I ever gonna feel right again? But actually those emotions are part of normal life and we can learn to hold them without fear. But the other thing that we often add is guilt. And guilt says, if I was a better person, if you know, if I'd got it together more, or if I was nailing it better, I wouldn't be dealing with things like this. I wouldn't be falling apart mm. like this. And again, what we've got to do is treat ourselves with some compassion and recognize that life is tough. Sometimes things go crazy. We all have days where we freak out or lose it or just think, I can't do this. So I guess it's recognizing that in those moments, what we need to do is not keep that stuff to ourselves find some good spaces that we can talk about it somewhere you feel safe someone you really feel like you can connect with maybe a mate or an adult you can trust or seek out some extra help and support there's some great sites on the internet that you can go to or you can go talk to a gp so it's like you said about the jenga block analogy again i suppose when you pile too much on top it's bound to fall over at some point so when you take too much on when you're not ready for it you know you've, you've got to be prepared that there could be a fall coming i suppose yeah and i guess what's really interesting in that age range you were talking about so in your teenage years is actually a lot of those blocks are still up for grabs so you think like who who am i like understanding my identity thinking who who are the core people People in my world or gonna be in my world as an adult like what's my job gonna be those big questions that stuff isn't decided yet which is kind of exciting but also on the less good days feels like crazy unstable I don't know who I am I don't know where I'm going what if it all goes wrong so it's normal in that season to find things sometimes do get on top of you how about for people who are struggling with self-harm so what tips and resources would you recommend for this so I think that the thing with self-harm is trying to understand what's underneath it. Self-harm is something that people get 
get caught into when they're trying to deal with emotions that they just don't know what else to do with. So the first thing I would say about self-harm is just to get some information to try and understand what's going on. What, what is this about? Why are you doing it? What does it do? Why is it so hard to stop? And there is an online program as well on the website selfharm.co.uk called Illumina, which is a group that you can join online that will help you work through and understand better what's going on for you with your self-harm and help you start to think about the first steps you might want to take towards recovery. It's so good to, to join clubs or do activities or go find some spaces, youth groups, whatever, where you can meet other bunches of people. So you've got different groups of friends because then if some argument or something tricky blows up in one of them, you're not left with nothing.